Death Valley Days. And think like Sergeant Flanagan. Speak up. Sick and tired of the trouble I've had with you men since coming to this boat. So I'm from West Point. Well, I'm proud of it. And I am in command of this patrol. Any questions? All right. Mount up. Well? Stay here, Sergeant. Stand ready, men. Zunies, they're supposed to be on reservation. We better get down there fast. Well, they got us outnumbered pretty good, sir, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. Yes, sir. the army there is? We were enough, weren't we? We well, sure, Lieutenant. We sure were. And we're mighty glad to see you. Any of your men hurt, uh, Mr. Uh, Conlon, Jake Conlon? Nope, me and the boys are just fine. Thanks to you, Lieutenant. Plum lucky. We're out picking up horses, and all of a sudden, I don't know where them Indians started shooting at us. Tough spot. Yeah, I can't understand those Zuni. They've been friendly on reservation. Supposed to be. Some people you can't trust, Lieutenant. You're going after him, ain't you? No, oh, not much chance of catching up with him now. But I'll report this to headquarters. It'll be investigated. Now, uh, if you men will get ready, we'll escort you. Escort us? Where? Fort Bayard. Oh, well, we, uh, we ain't headed that way, Lieutenant. We're going towards Wingate. Uh, you gonna go on? Suppose these Zuni decide to... Let them come. They won't catch us sleeping again, no, sir. Thanks for the offer, though. We're all right now, Lieutenant. Well, 
If you won't join us, good luck. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thanks for everything. Group. Yo. <laughs> Dismiss the man, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Go on, Lieutenant. So when we saw this band of Zunis attacking these horse hunters, we drove them off. No casualties. Zuni? Off the reservation? Yes, sir. How many? Ten, sir. Well, you took quite a chance with four men. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. I, uh... I don't understand the Zuni. They've been very cooperative. The hunters said they came from nowhere and started to attack. Where are these hunters? They refused escort to Fort Bayard, sir. They what? Continued on to Fort Wingate. Oh. Well, it isn't likely the Indians will attack them again. And we'll look into why they left the reservations. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You did a good job. Thank you, sir. How long are you on patrol? Four days, sir. I'd say you and your men deserve a rest. Give them uh, two days, Lieutenant. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, I'd like more detail on these Indians later. Yes, sir. Sergeant, will you attend my mount? Yes, sir. Tell them in they have two days off. Yes, sir. Congratulations. For what? When they saw us, they turned tail feathers and ran. <laughs> you were just being modest. It took real courage to do what you did. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, would you like some apricots? We got a new shipment in day before yesterday. Sounds like a fine idea. Lieutenant. Yes, Sergeant. I beg your pardon, sir, but I think you'd better come outside. We have a visitor. Who? Sanchez, chief of the Zunis. He's riding in with an escort. Welcome to Fort Bayard, Sanchez. What's the reason for your visit? Three white men raid horses of my people. Steal many good horses. Kill two braves. Braves hunt horse stealers. Find, almost catch. Soldiers come, braves run off. No, soldiers catch horse stealers. Return horse to Zuni. We do not have the horses, nor the men. But you catch. Well, you not punish white men? It's true. My soldiers saw your braves shoot at the white men. We thought that you had broken the treaty. Treaty? You not punish white horse dealers for brave treaty? It was a mistake to release those men. We did not know they'd stolen your horses. Two braves dead. Eta, my son, find horse dealers. Kill them. No, you cannot do that. White man's law will show justice. White man law gives justice. 
Zuni, take justice. I think you're looking at this the wrong way, Lieutenant. I'm not blaming you. Nobody's blaming you. You made a mistake, if it was a mistake. We're not sure these horse hunters are guilty. You came on the party right here, huh? Yes, sir. They said they were headed up toward Fort Wingate. Then they must be safe. I'll send a message to Wingate and have the story checked. Well, if they're at Wingate, sir, what do you mean by that? Their leader, Mr. Conlon, said they were headed toward Fort Wingate. He didn't say where. Sir, I request permission to go out and find them. There are 600 square miles of country there. It'd be like looking for a needle in a sand pile. You heard what Sanchez said. If a Taha finds them, he'll kill them. Did the Zuni break that treaty? Of... You know better than I do, sir, that such action could lead to a general uprising. I can't deny that possibility, Lieutenant, but it's a calculated risk I have to take. I can't have troops scouring the prairie for three missing men. Besides, Conlon's party is probably safe at Fort Wingate. If they're guilty of horse stealing and murder, sir, they ought to be punished by our law, not the Indians. They're innocent. I feel responsible for their lives, for not insisting they return to Bayard. I can't release any troopers, Lieutenant. I believe I can attend to that part of it, sir. You can attend to it? Sergeant Flanagan and my patrol. You just gave them two days' leave. I know, sir, but uh, I believe they'll be willing to come with me. I rather doubt that, Lieutenant. However, you have my permission to try. Thank you, sir. Now, Lieutenant, good luck. <laughs> Jack, I just found out. You going out there with a handful of men? It's crazy. Look, Emma, this whole thing is my fault. If I'd have used my head, it wouldn't have happened. Well, what do you want to do? Get your head blown off to make up for it? It's uh, something I've got to do. Besides, just another mission. Five soldiers against a band of Zuni? What if something should happen out there? Is it that important? Yes, Emma. It's that important. That and other things like responsibility and justice and honor. It's my whole life, Emma. Can't you see? Yes, I'm, I guess I do. I guess I am still young. I have so much to learn and to understand. Be careful. That's for good luck, Lieutenant. There, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, could be the Conlon party. That 
the Conlon party, all right. We're in luck, Sergeant. It's like we found him first. I wouldn't bet on that, sir. We've got to intercept them before they start anything. The lieutenant, there are only six of us. Keep the men here, Sergeant. And no firing. You are a Taha, son of Sanchez? I am a Taha. Why does soldier come now? We have found the robbers of our horses and killers of our brothers. If these men are guilty, they will be punished. The Taha will punish. No. The army will punish these men who have killed your brothers and stolen your horses. You turn them loose once. You will again. You do not punish the white man. He's of your own blood. We will take back what is ours. That will mean the army will punish you and your people. I will get these men and take them back to the fort to stand trial. I give you my word. The men in the cabin will kill you. You have too few soldiers. Will you give me a chance? I will wait. How do we stand, Lieutenant? Our only chance is to get those men out of that cabin. They're pretty well holed up in there, and if they don't want to come out, we go riding in like a big parade. Some of us won't come out. One man would have a better chance of getting in there. I'll go, Lieutenant. Stay here. But, Lieutenant. That's an order, Sergeant. Best bill of sales I've ever made. Now we legally own them horses, boys. What do you think of it, Abe? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, Simon. Don't anybody move. Toss your guns over there. What's this all about, Lieutenant? Taking you back to Fort Bayard for horse stealing and... Oh, wow. hold on a minute. There must be some mistake. We ain't stolen no horses. We traded for them. I got a bill of sale right here. All legalized. Yeah. You're under arrest for horse stealing and murder. Murder? <laughs> you mean you're... You're aiming to arrest me and take me in for murdering an, an Indian? Shucks, Lieutenant. Nobody murders Indians. You just kill them. That tin soldier school of yours didn't learn you your arithmetic too good. There's uh, three of them. Take a look at that window. Check. Hey, Tom. Where's your men, Lieutenant? Where's the army? Together we can get us some Indians. 
You got a choice, Conlon. Either you come with me, or it's a Taha and his braves. Make up your mind. You haven't got much time. Uh, now listen, Lieutenant. If we go with you, how do I know them Indians won't shoot us down? Huh? How do you know? I don't. I'm just betting that a Taha and his men have more honor than you. To shoot us in cold blood. Up the wagon. We're taking him in. They'll let us. Looney, take these men now. No. These men are my prisoners. You want war, Ataha? Looney want peace. Justice. I gave my word. These men will be punished. Take the horses they stole and go. Hitch up that wagon and fast. You heard the lieutenant? Here are the prisoners, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, mission accomplished. Good work, Lieutenant. Make your report later. Sanchez no whole story now. From your chief, from Etaha, my son, who sent me word. Own eyes, see proof. You brave soldier. Honorable man, you shall walk in greatness one day. What they call you? Pershing, sir. John Pershing. Pershing. I shall remember. Lieutenant John Pershing, who will walk with greatness. <laughs> <laughs>